Yo what's up, in this video I will show you how to make these really cool looking circle burst animations in After Effects and yeah as you can see they have multiple effects so we have this one with these stripes or this smoky one or some with the uh, yeah which are wider or smaller and yeah you can use these in any kind of motion graphic project so it's always awesome to know how to do them and yeah, they're also super simple, so I'd say let's go. So let's go into our new composition, and I just made a little background. But yeah, let's focus on the circle burst animations. So let's right click in here, go to new, and let's add a new shape layer. And then let's open this up, go to add, and add an ellipse, so we have the nice circle path. And yeah, as you can see, we don't see anything, so let's also add a stroke real quick which we then can just modify a bit. So let's first of all give it a gray color. So there's some nice contrast to the background. And let's also increase the stroke brightness to something like 70. And yeah, this looks a bit too much, but yeah, this won't be a problem later. So let's animate this real quick. So let's open up the, the ellipse path and go to size and put this to zero. So yeah, at the beginning it's just not there. And then let's go forward to like one and a half seconds and bring this up to whatever we like, something like this. And yeah, as you can see, this looks yeah a bit boring because it doesn't like explode and it's really slow and then it just stays like that. So let's change this and just click on size again and let's open up the graph editor with this button and yeah. Now let's press on the size again and now we can yeah, change the, yeah, the line here. So let's first of all click the easy ease button on the right here. And now we can play with the keyframes. So let's select the first keyframe and just bring this up so it will just start really fast and then go slower with the time. Just like an explosion and yeah, I think this looks already really cool. Just something like this. And yeah, now we don't want this to stay after these one and a half seconds. So let's also open up the stroke and animate this real quick. So let's go to the beginning of our animation and just put in a keyframe at 70 in this example. And then just go to the end, but not exactly to the end, just a little bit before it. So before the, yeah, the size keyframing ends and let's put this to zero. So now we have this really cool effect. And yeah, I think this looks awesome. Now we can just, yeah, duplicate this and give this some more interesting effects. So let's just, yeah, close this, select this and press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And now we can press P on the keyboard for position and just move it a little bit. So yeah, we have a few different ones. And let's do this again, press Ctrl D and P for position and let's just move it a bit. And yeah, let's start with the first effect, which will be this one. No, not this one, but this one on the left. So we have these nice cool lines. And yeah, this is super simple. So we just select this and look for the Venetian blinds effect, which is under transition and just apply it on the layer. And now we can just increase the transition completion a bit. And we can already see we get these cool lines. We can also change the direction angle to something like 45. And yeah, you can also, if we want, change the wideness a bit. But this is now completely up to you. And yeah, I think this looks really cool. A bit more interesting. And yeah, let's select the this one on the on the left and give it another effect, which will be the smoke effect kind of on the right here. And yeah, this one is again just one effect and it's called Rough and Edges. And yeah, as soon as we apply this, we can change a few settings. So we already see a bit of a change, but we want it to be more. So let's increase the border to something like 25 or even 35, something like that, depending on how strong you want this effect to be. But now you can see this gets a bit, blurry, a bit blurry, which could look weird sometimes. So we can also increase the edge sharpness to something like four or three. So now we get sharp edges again. 
and yeah this already looks super cool we can also you, maybe you don't see the difference that much but we can also animate this effect a little bit so we can just go to the beginning and put in a keyframe at evolution and then just go to the end and just change the evolution to one and yeah now this will be a bit more animated and i think these look super cool and of course we can just yeah for the normal one just duplicate this as well and change the position and open this up and let's just go to stroke and the first keyframe and maybe just change the stroke wideness to something like 25 so we also have a smaller one and so that they don't overlay each other we can also press s on the keyboard to scale them up or down a bit so let's change the right and left ones a little bit so they don't touch each other and just press p for position again but yeah i think these all look really cool and you can use them as i said anywhere and we're already done so yeah thanks for watching